Just recapping in the last video, by the way it's Nev again, we were able to select the event and select the seat number here for that particular event. And that's all working properly. But the problem is that we can duplicate seats. So what we really want here is a drop down that only shows the available seats. We'll start on that right now. I want to create a new query. Uh, and it's a simple query, so I'm just going to go to design view. I just want customer event, so that'll do. I want all those fields, so I'm going to drag them down. Just drag that up there. And what I want to do here is go into the builder. I've got my form open and my subform open. And I can see all the events and I want event ID. It's probably this, but it hasn't been labeled properly. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go into my customer booking. Actually, I've got to close it if I want to work on the subform. I'll design here. Have a look at my seat number and look at that. Slack, that's combo 12. It should be CBO. Seat ID. And likewise, this event one up here should be CBO. Event ID. All right, let's save that. Yes. And done. Okay, now let's go into the, oh, we've got to get back to design view, into the builder, into our database, into the forms, loaded forms. Oh, we've got no loaded forms. Cancel. We need to open, open our booking form. We can select one of these as well, just to be sure. Okay, let's try that again. We're in query here. Back to the builder and uh, forms, loaded forms, the form customer booking, the sub form, and now I've got CBO event ID. If I double click here, sorry, double click, you can see the path's quite complex. Uh, the main form, the sub form, and then form here. I can never remember that syntax, so I find the builder is great. Now if I run this, it's showing me all the event twos. If I come back to the booking form and I select old oh, Brucey Springsteen, this is not changing, but if I refresh it, it now shows all the event ones. Okay, so let's save that query. QRY, it's about seats. By customer uh, event. And from the subform, a bit complex, but uh, helpful if we've got a big database. All right, now what I really want to do is get the vacant seats. So I'm now going to use my query wizard for an unmatched query. It'll give me all of the seats. Now, in my case, I want all the seats in table seat, which do not appear in the query I just created. And I want to link seat number with seat number. So when I click on here, I see seat number equal to seat number. I want to show all my fields. And I'm going to call this... Uh, I'll call it something similar to what I just had. Seats by event, oh, customer event, sub, vacant. Okay, bit of a long-winded thing. Uh, so let's have a look. According to this, there are two vacant seats right now. Let's go to Jackson Brown. Let's go back here. 
and refresh why can't I refresh refresh and there are three seats left for Jackson Brown okay let's close that I'm going to close that as well I'm going to go into my subform and I'm going to click on my seat number combo box and scroll down here until I find the source for the combo box at the moment that's a pile of SQL it is not a query which is in my database what I want is probably the second one of these it should say vacant let's just have a look yeah vacant okay we have to cross our fingers now and see if this works close that come on here and I wonder how many seats are vacant for Jackson Brown. Only three seats. Fantastic. Let's come here and have a look at the Wombats. And, oh, only three seats. It is not requerying. Let's try a refresh. It gets cranky when we refresh because there's got to be something in this field. But at least the query works. Okay. Now we've got to, let's come to Mr. Dillon. And again, it's not refreshing. So, yeah, uh, I'll run here. It will, if I can work out a way to refresh, this will work. So I'll stop this now and create another short video for the refresh.